thousands of churches are moving to live streaming to help still spread the message and have a method of having service on Sundays because of the events that are going on, but not everybody is comfortable with technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure OBS to take the audio from your live stream and make it available on a conference call. Let's go. folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I had one of my clients contact me and they've been live streaming and they wanted to know of a way to be able to offer audio to some of their older members that are not comfortable with smartphones, computers, live streaming, Facebook, YouTube, and all that fun stuff. And honestly, I had no clue of how to put this together until I just started playing around and hooking up cables and everything like that. But I found something <laughs> that made this whole thing easy. And I wanna walk you through that entire process. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, I'm here on the church's computer. And the very first thing we're gonna do is set up a Google Voice account, which I've already done here for our church's account. And make sure you can allow the notifications there. Not really that important, but I just went ahead and accepted those. Now, the other thing you're also gonna do is set up a free conference call account. And we're gonna be calling that from Google Voice, all right? So now that we got that all set, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the link that's in the description to install a program. Now again, this is for Windows only. I should have mentioned that from the very beginning. It is in the description. This is for Windows only for right now. And we're gonna go and download this VB Audio Hi-Fi cable. This is a virtual audio cable that is gonna link the output with an input and create a virtual speaker and um, mic. All right, so we go ahead and install that. And once it's done, as you can see right now, I don't have it installed. I only have the speaker that's showing up for my current computer system. So let's go ahead and install this download here. Very straightforward. Go ahead and click install. And it's going to install the audio drivers and you will need to reboot now um, you will get a pop-up saying do you confirm to let this create a new sound device for your device manager just go ahead and accept that and let's restart system has been restarted so let's go ahead now and open up OBS and now what we're gonna do for each source I mean each scene and each source we need to go ahead and click on the gear here under audio mixer and go to advanced audio properties. And under each item that you want to hear sound show up on the conference call, we need to change it to monitor and output. And you do that for every scene. So here I'm doing it for our deck link, which is capturing the sound from the sanctuary from our soundboard. Set that to monitor and output and then click close. And offering because it's the exact same source that's been duplicated, the setting is exactly the same, but there's no harm in checking. Be right back, we don't want sound going through, doesn't really matter, and ending, we don't have sound. All right, so that's the settings there. Pretty straightforward, and let's go, yeah, be right back. I think I did set this back to audio just in case, but it doesn't really matter for the live, I mean, for anybody on the conference call. There are no restrictions on sound for that. All right. Now that we got all that done, let's go over here to the speaker on the taskbar of Windows. And now we have an option. We want to change our default sound to the Hi-Fi cable input that was installed with VB Audio Hi-Fi cable. So by doing this, all the sound is going to be played into that virtual output or that speaker. Now let's go back into Chrome and let's go back into Google Voice. Now inside of here, we're gonna click on our audio settings. Now we wanna 
set the microphone as the hi-fi cable output, which is the opposite of what we just set for our speaker. Make sure that the microphone is allowed if you have any issues with that. And then ringing and speakers, set that to your regular speakers because we don't need that to go through into the phone. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now what we're gonna do now is do not start your live stream yet. We're gonna dial into our free conference call first, put in the conference code number, our host number and all that other stuff first because if there was audio being played, those sounds and tones can be registered as key entries, which would mess up the process of trying to dial in. So make sure you dial in, put the code and everything in first through Google Voice. And because we set it to our default speakers, we should be able to hear everything that is actually going on before we turn anything on. So just dial the number, put in your conference code number and your pin by saying that you're the host and then boom, you should hear some hold music. Once you hear the hold music, go ahead and start your live stream. So you should now start getting music being routed through. Now, once the audio is being routed through, you'll be able to see the animation with the microphone. After that is done, go ahead and grab another phone like your cell phone or anything else and you dial in as well too just to hear. Now to be honest with you, the sound, if you're doing music or anything like that, it's not going to be the greatest. It's going to sound like a phone. It's not going to be as if you're actually live there, but it is good enough to understand what people are saying. So again, heavy music is not going to be the greatest. But when somebody is talking, if it's your um, pastor, a minister, or anybody that's talking, it will be crystal clear and you can give that telephone number to anybody else that's not that comfortable with the technology and they will still be able to participate and listen in on your live stream. Now, they won't be able to say anything because the one thing I didn't mention is to make sure on your free conference call, you defaultly set everybody to mute. So that way, if anybody's talking, they won't get their sound pushed through the call and miss out on the audio that's coming from your live stream. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I'm really looking forward to testing this out on Sunday with a large group of people because me just testing it with about three people, it worked great for us. So um, let me know if that works with you and I hope that helps leverage technology to reach other people who might not be comfortable with smartphones and the whole live streaming thing, but it's a way for them to still participate in church and in service that you may be having this Sunday remotely. So anyway, a full list of the description of everything that you need is going to be on my blog, which has an entry in the description, but I have a short summation of what you need to do in the description. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell the way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.